Hi guys, this is Aman and welcome to Network Engineer Stuff. So guys, in this video, we are going to see how to use Cisco Packet Tracer. In the previous video, we have seen that how you can download Cisco Packet Tracer for free. You can check that video. You will find the link of that video uh, in the description section of this video. You, so you can check that video. So in this video, we are going to see that how can we use this Cisco Packet Tracer. So this is how the interface looks like of Cisco Packet Tracer. So you can see that uh, a lot of toolbars and uh, uh, a lot of boxes over here. So the very first time user would get a bit confused that what are these boxes or what are these toolbars. So I'll just give a small introduction about those. So at the top, you can find the name of the application, Cisco Packet Tracer. So here is this main menu where you can find a lot of options like file, edit, option, view, tools, etc. Uh, this is the, below that you will find uh, this primary toolbar or the main toolbar. Uh, so you will find options, a lot of options over here also. Uh, below that you will find the secondary toolbar which is also known as the common toolbar. And this is very useful toolbar. We'll see in uh, the next few minutes that how to use this uh, toolbar. And below that, you'll find this logical and physical uh, workspace navigation bar over here. And this free space, this white space you see here is the workspace where we build our topology. Then you will find at uh, the bottom here, uh, just at the below this workspace, we'll find this real time and simulation bar. And below that, at this bottom, it is the most important and my favorite uh, box, which is the device type selection box. Here you will find different type of devices, network devices, end devices, components, connections. So you will find a lot of options over here, which is device type selection box and this particular box is the device specific uh, selection box so let's say if you if you want to switch you know we'll go on this network device under network device we'll go on the switches and here we'll find a lot of different type of switches in this particular device specific selection box and this particular box is the user created packet window. So you will see that also. So this is the overall uh, uh, introduction to the different toolbars and different boxes in Cisco Packet Tracer. So the most important, which I told you, is this device uh, type selection box. So let's let's add one router in this workspace. So I'll go in this device uh, network devices. Under this, I'll go in the routers. Now you can see, guys, a lot of different routers uh, models. I'll select this one, 4331. What I have to do is I have to select this and just click over here in this free space. You can do it like the other way also. If you, if I, if I want to switch, I can go on this switch. I can just drag and drop. If I want, a, a, let's say, a PC, what I have to do is I'll get the PC under end devices. If you go on the end devices, we'll find a PC. So I'll just drag and drop. So this is how easy the Cisco Packet Presser is to use. And uh, let's say now to connect this uh, three devices, uh, this router with this switch and the switch with this PC, then I need cables, right? So I have to go in this uh, connection section and here in the connection section we'll find a lot of different type of connections or different types of cables. So this is auto cable. Whenever you're confused which type of cable to use between these two devices, you can use this auto cable and then you can have this console and uh, straight cable, copper cable, fiber cable, serial cables, a lot of different type of cables. So I'll uh, select auto and I'll click on these two devices to which I want to connect this cable. 
So let's say I have to connect the router and the switch. So I'll connect on the router and then I click on the switch. So this is how we can connect. Now let's say I want to connect this a switch and this PC. Now I know that between the switch and the PC, I'll need a straight cable. So what I'll do is I'll go on this straight cable and click on the switch. I'll and I have to stick to port and then I'll click on the PC and select a port. So this is how easy is to connect the devices in Cisco Packet Racer. Now let's say I have to add one more uh, router. So what I'll do is I'll click on this network devices, then on the router, and then again select some model and put it in this workspace. But this is again, you know, every time you have to go and click in here and do it. So if let's say I want multiple routers, let's say I want more 5 to 10 routers, I will add it. A simple method or a tricky method is to just click on the control and then click on this icon of the router. You'll find an extra router over here. We have added one router. Let's say again we'll do it. Control, router, control, router, control, router. And this just I'm clicking. I've pressed the control button and just I'm clicking on the routers. Now guys, you can see we have added a lot of routers. Multiple routers we have added. You can do it. Do these things with any type of uh, device in Cisco Packet Tracer. Now I want to delete this uh, extra routers. I don't want this extra routers. So the secondary toolbar, guys, I told you this is very useful toolbar. Here you have the option of select. So what I'll do is I'll click on the select and then I'll select this section which I want to delete. Let's say this section and I'll select that part and now I have to delete it. So you can find option number three here. It is delete. So I'll just click on delete and then it will uh, ask me for a confirmation. I'll delete it. So guys, in this way, you can delete, uh, you can add or you can delete multiple devices very easily and this is a tricky method to add those multiple devices. Now, let's say I have to connect this to routers now. Fine. Now, connecting these two routers, I have to connect it via, let's say, serial interface uh, because this, these are the two routers I want, I want serial interface uh, to be connected. Now, if you see here, if I click on this connections and if I go here in the serial and then click on here, you will find and there is no serial port on this router. Now, many guys get stuck over here. They don't know how to add the serial port. But guys, Cisco Packet Tracer is such a useful tool that, you know, it gives you an option to add modules, whatever modules, let's say you want to add serial modules, you can add that serial modules. So how to do it? I'll just click on this router. And yeah, on the icon of the router and then you will find a lot of options over here. So under this physical options, we will find multiple modules. You can see over here. So let's say I am to add this module and I am 2T. So this is basically Synchronous serial module. So I want this module and uh, these are the empty spaces. So I have what I have to do is I just have to drag and drop. But before that, I have to power off the a router now where is that power of button so if there's option of zoom in so just click on zoom in and you can see here this is the button of power so this is currently on you can see a green light over here i'll just off it so now it does power off now i'll add the module I'll just zoom out I'll click on nmi 2t and i'll drag and drop and now i'll do the power on Zoom it. I'll just do power and now it has turned green. So if you go here in the config, you can see actually the device is booting. So this gives you a real time uh, sort of uh, experience of a real device. So, so it is currently, this router is booting. So I'll just press OK. Again, for this device also, we'll do the same thing. We'll power off NMI. 2T, I'll just drag and drop and then again power on. 
and again this device is also booting so now if i go now if i go on this serial cable you can find i've got this two serial ports okay because we have added that module and that module contain two ports two serial ports so i'll select the serial port over here again i'll select the serial port over here so this way you can add modules whatever modules you need i just showed you an example of how you can add this to routers using serial cable now let's say you uh, have to give uh, some uh, some nodes or in this topology you need to mention few name of this pc let's say this this pc belongs to a guy named tejas okay so uh, what you can do it here we have the option in this uh, secondary toolbar place note so i'll just click on this place note let's say i'll give the name of this pc as tejas fine now let's say i have to give the ip address to the pc as 10.1.1.100 Subnet marks of slash twenty four. So I can, I can, I can give the means using this nodes. We can give some nodes, uh, which will make uh, a user or a viewer uh, a better idea about your topology. Again, let's say on this particular interface of the router, this how to give let's say the IP address ten dot one dot one dot one slash twenty four. On this particular interface, that is gig uh, zero slash zero slash zero. Now, I have I can I can just use this, select this, and drag this over here. So I can place it anywhere on the workspace. Oh, I just want it to be here. So I will just drag and drop over here. Similarly, I want this IP to be displayed under the name of Tejas. So I'll do so. Now I have made a dedicated video, guys, uh, for router in a switch and how to configure a router in a switch in Cisco Packet Tracer. You can uh, find the link uh, here in this uh, description section of this video. Also, you can go and watch those videos. Uh, you will find it very useful. So, uh, guys, let's give uh, IP address uh, to this interface of this switch. Or you have the router. We'll give it, and uh, here you can find. So guys, let's give the IP address to the uh, to the router interface. I click zero slash zero slash zero. I click on that icon of this router and physical config CLI. So I'll always recommend guys who are uh, planning to become network engineers or who are network engineers to use this option because CLI uh, you will get more practice on CLI if you use this option rather than using this config option so we'll go on this cli and uh, config t the interface is gig 0 slash 0 slash 0 i'll do no shut and i'll give an ip address of 10.1.1.1 Slash twenty four. So slash twenty four is two fifty five dot two fifty five dot two fifty five dot zero. So this is the subnet. Exit, exit, and let's say I'll save the configuration. So by WR you can see if the uh, running configuration, the startup configuration of the device. So we have given the IP address for the router. Now let's give the IP address to the PC also. So what I have to do is I'll click on that PC. Here on PC you will find an option of desktop. If you go here on desktop. Under this we'll find an option of IP config. So what you need to do is you need to give an IP address over here. Ten dot one dot one dot hundred. Yes. Subnet marks was two fifty five dot fifty five dot two fifty five dot zero. Uh, default gateway will be the IP address which we keep on the router. So it will be 10.1.1.1. I'll just click on this uh, cancel and then I can go on this command prompt. You know, this is the this is what I like about 
a Cisco packet tracer that you know get command prompt also. Now let's see. You know, basically it tries to give the user the complete experience as if he is using uh, a PC in the real network. So here you can check IP config and you can find the IP address of 10.1.1.100 and you can again find the default gateway which is uh, 10.1.1.1. Again guys, you can use this option, the ping and everything. Let's see you want to ping this router. So you can use this option as well. Now you can see we are able to ping the router also. Now, I'll show you one more uh, sighting option over here, uh, which which I personally like. Let's say I have to highlight uh, this particular section of this router connection. Okay, I just want to highlight that thing. Now, how, how would I make it highlight or uh, how would I uh, make it highlight by giving some color to it? So, there's an option over here, which is uh, a draw rectangle. So I'll select on this draw rectangle. You can find this options, different shapes over here, uh, which are also added in this section over here, also in this toolbar. So what I'll do is I'll select this rectangle and here's option guys, no field, field color. So I'll click on this field color. I'll select a color. Let's say I'll select uh, this color and I'll press OK. And I have to just select the section where I have to feel that color. So I feel that color. I will just close this box. As you can see that this particular color is fit. Again, if you want, um, let's say the one for this, again, again go and select that. So in this way, guys, uh, you can um, uh, you you can use this particular option of feel color to basically look your topology more attractive uh, which you will also feel better when you are using it. So guys, a lot of options uh, still pending. I think uh, we can cover it in the next part uh, because there are more important options as like add the simple PDU, uh, complex PDU, everything. So uh, there are more, few more options related to font size and everything. I can show you which are very useful uh, for any user of Cisco Packet Tracer. So guys, we'll continue in the next part. Uh, that is the Cisco Packet Tracer part 2. So guys, uh, do watch that video also. Uh, in this video, I'll stop here. If you guys really like this video, I'll uh, request you to guys to please share this video with your friends and colleagues. Till then, bye and have a nice day.